Welcome to this video on the directional derivative of a function of two variables. Let's have a look at what's being asked in this question. So we have a function of two variables, x and y, which is given by this formula here, x e to the power y plus cosine x, y. And we have a vector u, and it is easy to see that u has length 1, because if we compute the length of this vector, then we get that it equals the square root of 3 over 5 squared plus minus 4 over 5 squared. So that is the square root of 9 plus 16 over 25, which equals 1. So indeed, our vector has length 1. And hopefully you recall that normally for directional derivatives, we choose a vector. So here it's the vector u that should have length 1. And then we look at how the function changes if we would walk in that direction. So if we would pick the vector with components 1 and 0, then we would have df dx. If we would have the vector with components 0, 1, we would have the df dy. And this generalizes that concept into an arbitrary direction. Here the direction 3 over 5 minus 4 over 5. So we are being asked to find the directional derivative at the point 2, 0. So x equals 2, y equals 0. Now, hopefully you recall the definition of directional derivative. So try to solve the question, see if you find one of the answers a through g, only one of them is correct. Um, try to solve it yourself and then come back to the video. So pause the video, try to solve it yourself and then come back. So I hope that wasn't too difficult and that you managed to solve it. Um, the definition of the directional derivative d u f at 2, 0 is that you should find the dot product of the vector u with the vector that is the gradient of f at the point 2, 0. And of course the gradient is the df dx, df dy at that point 0. So we are going to be needing the gradient of f. So the gradient of f is the vector with components df dx, df dy, which equals, so I have to differentiate our function here with respect to x now. So y x as a constant, and I find e to the power y. The derivative of the cosine is minus the sine. And then with the chain rule, x is the variable, y is a constant, so I get times y. And for the second component, what I need to do is um, differentiate with respect to y. So x, x like a constant, I'm just copying that. The derivative of e to the power y becomes e to the power y. The derivative of the cosine, again, is minus sine x y but now the chain rule gives us an additional x so if i plug now in x equals um, what do we have x equals 2 y equals 0 then what we find is that the gradient of f at 2 0 equals e to the power of 0 equals 1 minus sine 0 times 0, so that's just 1. And the second component, x, is 2 times e to the power of y is 1 minus, again, sine 0 times 2. So we get the vector 1, 2. And then we're almost done because the last thing is just computing the dot product. So what we get is that d u f 2 comma 0 is now the dot product of the vector 3 over 5 minus 4 over 5 with the vector 1, 
2. So what we get is 3 over 5 minus 8 over 5, which is minus 5 over 5, which is minus 1. So the correct answer is answer A. And that answers this question. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.